around my story. The Curse of Money. I am Andrew, 20 years old, and I have everything you can imagine, or even what you cannot imagine in life. I reach everything I dream of or desire. Life is very easy for me because everything has its cost. My life is a great pastime, betting on anything and everything. I have many friends who are ready to do anything I ask of them. If I tell them to kill, they will kill for money. One day I was at a party and I met a girl. It was the first time to see her in the city. Her name was Florence. She was different. She attracted me. I tried to get closer to her and talk to her. She rejected me. Andrew, who no one can say no to, and there is nothing he needs and cannot reach. A girl said no to him. The next day I saw her walking with another boy named John. I felt defeated for the first time in my life. I gathered my friends and told them that I have to get to this girl in any way. Bring this boy, John, here tomorrow night. And really, John came. I was holding a very big party. We all enjoyed it. At first, it was a party like any party. And then I offered him a lot of money to leave Florence. And the truth is that this was not the first time I did that. The strange thing is that John did not agree. He provoked me very much. And the thing that provoked me most about him was his self-confidence, despite his poverty. I looked at my friends and laughed, so they understood what I wanted. They beat John severely and then threw him in front of the nearest hospital. During the days he stayed in the hospital, I tried to get closer to Florence in another, kinder way and began to attract her with my money and many gifts. She accepted all of them, but after John left the hospital, she returned to him, the time when I thought that she was mine. I felt that I was very foolish and was being laughed at by a girl I thought was different from any girl I knew. Florence knew well what she was doing, and John also refused the money because Florence could take much more, but no one could laugh at me before, and I can't leave what happened to pass normally. Among the gifts I gave to Florence was a yacht that I loved very much, and despite that, I gave it to her, hoping that she loves me. I thought that there was only one way to avenge myself. I made a plan and agreed with two of my friends to watch her and John so that they would know all their moves, and they heard them agreeing on celebrating Florence's birthday on the yacht. At that time, I decided that the last gift I would give her would be different from all the gifts I had given her before. I asked my friends to prepare a surprise for her on the yacht, a romantic dinner with lots of lights and candles. Each one of them thought that the other was the one who prepared the surprise. And because I needed this day to be remembered, I put cameras everywhere in the yacht. Exactly an hour after they were on the yacht and in the middle of the sea, I saw the yacht sinking. I heard their screams and saw their fear. My happiness was indescribable at the time. But this happiness did not complete when the police investigations began. They saw the cameras that were already damaged, but also the malfunction they found was very clear that it was fabricated. And for the first time, I found that money is unable to protect me or buy anything. My friends admitted that I was the one who brought them after being arrested by the police. I am now accused of two counts of murder and sentenced to life imprisonment. Of course, I am sad about my life that will be wasted in prison, but I do not regret what I did because they deserve to die. Do you think I am wrong that I avenged myself?